Milling, a common manufacturing process, removes material from a workpiece. This is done by a cutting tool called a milling cutter or milling tool. A machining center is a manufacturing machine which primarily performs milling. It is also capable of other machining operations such as drilling, boring, and so on, often to produce finished parts. Machining center workpieces are most often made of some form of metal. The workpiece may be a solid block from which the part is machined. Or it may be cast metal, which is similar in shape to the final part. In most cases, the material to be machined is secured to a table called the work table. This is a vertical machining center. It is the most common type of machining center in use and will be the type seen most often during this training program. It is called a vertical machining center because the rotating tool is held on a vertical column called the spindle. This is a horizontal machining center. It is called horizontal because the tool is held during machining by a horizontal spindle. Vertical machining centers are normally used for parts which are relatively flat, while horizontal machining centers are used for workpieces which are relatively cube-shaped or box-like. For machining to occur, the tool must come in contact with the workpiece. To cause this movement, either the tool must move into the stationary workpiece or the table must move the workpiece into the rotating tool. It is common to find combinations of both tool movements and table movements. The work table moves back and forth on this FANUC controlled vertical machining center. The tool moves back and forth at right angles as well as up and down on this machine. These three directions of movement are enough to create many types of workpieces. Another common configuration is to have the table move in two perpendicular directions. The tool on these machines only moves up and down. Even though the table may move the workpiece into the tool to perform a cut, we must view the movement as if the tool is actually moving into the workpiece. This is necessary since the computer and the operator controls always handle the machine as if the tool were moving. The size of workpiece which a machining center can handle is determined by the work window, sometimes called the cube. These terms refer to the area within which the tool can move in all directions. In addition, the maximum horsepower of the spindle motor and its maximum RPM determine the type of workpiece a machine can handle. Many different types of tools are generally needed to create the features of a workpiece. On most machining centers, these tools are held in a tool magazine. The tool magazine positions itself to allow the tool in the spindle to be removed and a new tool to be loaded into the spindle. The device which removes and replaces the tool is called a tool changer. An automatic tool changer is called an ATC. Some tools will not fit into the tool magazine. With these larger tools, or sometimes during setup, tools are installed manually. Workpieces can be clamped to the work table in one of several ways. Standard clamps and blocks are called open fixtures or modular fixtures. A dedicated fixture is specially built to hold one particular part or group of similar parts. Sometimes a vise is used to clamp the workpiece in place for machining. On some machines, pallets are used to hold workpieces. A pallet is a movable portion of the work table which holds the fixture. A pallet and pallet changer mechanism allow new workpieces to be mounted to a fixture while another piece is being machined. Some machining centers, typically horizontal machines, feature a rotating table. The rotary table turns the workpiece to allow machining on any or all sides. The speed of the spindle motor, the movements of the tool spindle, the pallet changing operation and the tool changer are all controlled in a CNC machining center by a computer. CNC means Computer Numerical Control. As the first part of the name implies, a computer controls the machine's functions and movements. The second part of the name, Numerical Control, means that the computer calculates and keeps track of the machine movements using numbers. Some of the numbers that the computer uses are in the form of a list. This list of numbers and letters is called the computer program or part program. The part program tells the computer how to move the machine components to produce a specific part. Using information from the part program, 
the CNC control will start and set the spindle speed, turn the coolant on and off, set the rate at which the tool feeds into the workpiece, and on most machines even change the tools. All of the operations and functions of the machine are performed by motors. The machine can be operated manually by activating the motor which controls a component using manual control buttons. That same motor is controlled by the computer as it runs the part program. This is the main control panel on a typical CNC machining center. It has three basic sections. The display screen, the computer control panel, and the machine control panel. We will look at each section of the main control panel in the next part of this lesson.